Now we're going to go over the resize tool, the paint bucket tool, and how to use layers. So first the resize tool. The resize tool is over here, or also known as the scale tool. And if we select an object, and this one is a group, remember, we can use the scale tool, click on it, since it was already selected, it just showed up, and we can drag it in all these different directions. Now, when you're resizing things, it's sort of like push-pulling, but not exactly. You don't have to have parallel surfaces, and you can manipulate surfaces to get some weird shapes if you want to. You can resize just surfaces on this. So if we double-clicked to modify this, and then clicked here, and clicked resize, we could actually just modify surfaces of it and make some weird shapes. So that's another thing you can do with the scale tool or the resize tool. All right, now the paint bucket tool. So the paint bucket tool looks like a paint bucket, and with this we can paint different things. So aside from just having colors, we also have lots of textures that we can use too. We can have all different kinds of things in here. There's things like translucent, so we can actually add windows, so we can make our objects out of glass. Whenever you paint something that's already a group, so this one was one whole group, it paints all of the surfaces the same. If I went to this block here, which is just individual surfaces and edges, and I click, it just paints that block, or just paints that surface that I clicked on. So it didn't paint the other surfaces, just the ones I clicked on. So if you have something that's a group, you click it once, it paints the whole thing. If for some reason you didn't want part of this group to be painted like this, you could just double click it, get into modify it, and then paint each surface individually if that's what you wanted. So if you didn't want the whole thing to be that one paint color, you could go in and change it. But for quick sake, if you just wanted the whole block to be a certain color, you could just make it a group and then paint it and the whole block will be one color. All right, aside from all of these cool textures that they have here, like we could even do water or something if we wanted to make our a pool or anything like that, there's also the ability to create a texture. To create a texture, we can click on this button right here, create material. And then if we go down here to a folder, we can import any JPEG image. So we'll go there, we'll go to my pictures and find my log cabin texture. So now I have a log cabin texture. If I hit OK, it's selected, and I can paint stuff to be log cabin. Now if that log cabin was a little bit too small, like those logs look a little bit small, I can click on edit and I can change the scale of it. So these are all going to come in at different scales depending on the texture you used. Um, you just have to increase the number to make the texture look larger or decrease the number to make it look smaller. So you'll really have to kind of adjust from there and figure out exactly how you want your texture to look. So that is another option. If you don't find the texture that you want, you can always create one. And you can modify every single texture they have here. You can change how much you see through them. You can change the darkness of them. You can change all the different things. So even if you're importing a texture, you can still modify it slightly and change it how you want.